Escape from Tarkov is an extremely brutal game, and especially if you're a new player staring down the barrel of that enormous learning curve, it can be tough to figure out how to navigate it. One of the biggest things people talk about in Tarkov is whether to play as a squad or as a solo player. A lot of people have really hard opinions about one or the other, and in this video, I wanted to talk about some of the benefits and some of the negatives of playing either way, and hopefully equip you to kind of create a better Escape from Tarkov experience. I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. I stream as from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the video. So first off, before we even hop in, if you are looking for people to play Tarkov with, a little bit of a shameless plug here, our Discord is an awesome place to be. We've got over 8,000 members. We've got a Sherpa system. We've got really active looking for group channels for NA and EU. It's an awesome place to be if you want to find some people. So that link is down below. Additionally, just so we know who this video is for, if you've got a few hundred or a few thousand hours in Escape from Tarkov, this video is probably not for you. At this point, you know how you enjoy playing this game. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below on this subject, but let's remember that this video is more for either newer players to the game or people that have been playing for a while or coming back that are struggling to get into a groove and have fun playing the game. But like we said, we're talking about whether you should play Tarkov as a solo or in a squad. Now, of course, at the end of the day, that's going to come up to you. And it's I can't tell you how to have fun in this game. But if you're trying to figure out what that is, uh, my opinion is I would say yes. But with the asterisk of finding somebody who's competent or finding a Sherpa that can kind of help you out, especially if you're new. So to kind of start this off, Nikita has been pretty open about this being a more squad focused game. Uh, that's not to say solo isn't viable or isn't dope. We're going to get to some really awesome advantages of playing solo in a little bit. But Nikita has talked about how they, they built in a lot of mechanics and they thought of this game as these, you know, small squads of people rolling around. Uh, there's a lot of information out there about some even squad focused mechanics that are coming later, like the ability to heal a teammate and a few other things that they've talked about. They both have clear advantages and disadvantages. And just because Nikita wants this to be a, a game that maybe kind of leans more towards squad focus, that doesn't mean that solo isn't a viable option or that even better in certain circumstances. So at the end of the day, it's just, you know, how much fun you're having. And as you learn the game and as you kind of master Escape from Tarkov, you might find switching back and forth uh, and you might like solo or squad better the later you go. Um, but we can talk about some of the, the clear advantages and disadvantages of each. So if you're playing in a squad, uh, there's a very obvious advantages there being that you've got more eyes on target, you more eyes looking around, you're walking around with your squad and you can just see more of the map. You can identify targets. There's things that you miss. There have been countless times where as a streamer, if I'm playing solo, I die and then chat's like, I can't believe you didn't see that guy. And it's like, well, you know, I can only be looking so many places, um, but he was on my screen. I didn't see him. So when you're playing with more people, there's just more opportunities for you to figure out what's going on um, and assess the situation. You can get protection when you're questing. A lot of times, you know, if you're playing in a two or three man, the other guys can post up, defend you while you're trying to get a quest item or loot a specific area. Uh, swapping aggro is huge it's one of the biggest things especially if you're in close quarters combat and you're fighting one person but as two or three you can unload your mag or if you get hurt or something like that you can fall back behind cover communicate that to your teammate who can immediately basically just peek around and keep the aggro up uh, and you can kind of swap back and forth and here's a really quick example of that because I really do think swapping aggro is one of the best close quarters plays you can make as a squad. We were in customs. I was playing with Deadly. We had been in a fight with this guy for a while. Deadly swings on the guy, clicks because he's out of ammo, and he's able to immediately fall into cover, and I'm able to immediately swing back, pick that up, and surprise the enemy. Nice. I did not kill the guy on third. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Woo, nice little transfer there. Another huge consideration when deciding to play solo or with a squad is insurance. If you're playing with a squad, it's you're just realistically going to get more insurance back for a few reasons. Sometimes you die and your friend kills the other person. Um, and maybe even your friend dies. There's just more loot laying around. More likely you're going to get something back. Um, if you die in a fight and your squad eliminates that threat, your squad can either just take your loot out for you and bring it back for you into the next raid. They can ditch it in like a, you know, a little hidey hole that nobody's going to find it, meaning you're going to get it back from insurance. Uh, you're definitely going to get 
more of your money's worth from insurance when you're playing with a squad. And, you know, the list goes on. There's even more, you know, advantages to playing as a squad, not just these. But there are definitely some clear disadvantages as well. Team killing is something that is super frustrating in Escape from Targo, in a game where you can lose your gear uh, and there are no markers or identifiers of who's friendly and who's not. Uh, if you're not communicating well, you can get in a situation where you kill your own teammate. That is extremely frustrating. That can turn the tide of a fight. You can kill your teammate who you thought was an enemy. The enemy was over there. You weren't aware. Now you die. The whole fight is lost and now you've lost all of your stuff. Um, Escape from Tarkov is notoriously pretty rough around the edges when it comes to audio. Some of the updates in patch 12.11 kind of made this worse in certain uh, circumstances, and that can get incredibly confusing with a squad mate. I mean, just take a look and listen to this experience that I had with another streamer, Geeksa, when we were in the resort. Going up to third. Okay. No, 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 I'm on first. Someone came upstairs with me, I think. Unless it was you. Ugh, the, the audio is so fucking stupid right now. I hear you walking around like you're on my level right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. You're not on second, you're on third. Yeah. Are you on second? No, but somebody Wait. might be. Yo, this audio. Dude, it sounds like you're right there. Same. You just unlocked the door, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was you. Oh my God. So, uh, even when the audio is good, it's hard to identify where everybody is. Even if the audio was perfect, you know, if I'm playing with another person, let's say I'm playing with two other people, I have my footsteps, I have my friend's footsteps, I have my other friend's footsteps. If an enemy comes, how am I to distinguish if we get separated at all, which one is which? And then when you stack on top of that, that the audio in Escape from Tarkov already has some um, improving to do, let's put it that way, it can really create a situation where everybody's just yelling over Discord, trying to figure out where each other is, and everybody just ends up dying. Um, Escape from Tarkov is also a place where these maps are pretty big. There's uh, a lot of different landmarks and a lot of different buildings. And if uh, you don't have... It feels like it's like a full-time job to learn or make callouts for every single thing. But if you don't have good callouts, it's really easy to get kind of turned around and basically lose a fight because of that. If you're on woods and you say there's a guy by the tree, you're not giving your teammate enough information, uh, really anything to do. And that fight can just fall apart. What tree over there by the rock, which rock or by that building, which building, third floor, third floor of what building it can get really jumbled and then solo players or uh, highly trained squads can use that to their advantage. So there are definitely some downsides to playing as a squad. There are definitely some things to consider. And I would definitely recommend one of my biggest kind of recommendations to people is find people if you do want to play win a squad, whether it's two, three, four, five, find people that are on the same level of the game as you not necessarily in skill but what they want out of the game if they just want to kind of like hop into tarkov goof off you know maybe meme on some people that is totally fine but if you're trying to really learn the game if you're trying to win fights if you're trying to like execute tactical movements and your friend is just throwing flashbangs everywhere trying to blind you it's just going to be a frustrating experience so find somebody with aligned goals of what they want to do that's going to help a lot um, squad definitely has a place. It's definitely devastating, but you kind of have to play at a higher level to be super effective, having call outs, keeping your discord really clean. I even made a video on some tips. If you are, if you do like to play as a squad, I made a video with some tips. And then if you want to see some top tier squad play in action, I would definitely recommend operator Drewski when he's playing Tarkov, uh, his crew is just top tier. They're amazing. Now that's not to say that solo is a useless um, play style solo is actually can be incredibly beneficial because if you're a solo player every single thing you see is an enemy and that is a huge advantage to you um, understanding that once again you can and you can actually use that as an advantage over squads by confusing them with your movement and stuff like that anytime if you're a solo player you can you can abuse squads that aren't good I mean a lot of people have said that a really bad five man is worse than a good 
solo player. You can confuse your enemy by using sound to your advantage, by flanking a lot. You can make flanks much, much quicker. You can make decisions much, much faster, and you don't have to take every fight. I think that's a big thing in Tarkov is everybody feels like they should be able to win every single fight that they come across. If you're a solo player, you have the ability to just dip. You have the ability to just kind of sneak in, sneak out, get a quest item, leave. Uh, you can use sound to your advantage. If you're up against a squad, um, and it's actually like the bigger the squad, the easier this is to accomplish. But if you're up against the squad, keep their Discord call or whatever they're using confusing. If you're throwing nades way off to the left in random places, if you're rustling bushes and then completely flanking around the building, keep their comms and their audio. Is that you? Is that you? Where are you? I'm on third. Where are you? What was that grenade? Was that your grenade? Is that my nade? All that stuff is going to keep them confused and you're going to be able to kind of decide what you want to do, either kind of surgically take one out one by one or kind of leave the fight. However, as a solo player, it is definitely easy to get overwhelmed. I understand and recognize that one of the biggest frustrations with this game is that people who do play solo are frustrated at the fact that they feel like they're always coming up against squads. It's definitely more people play in two, three mans than play solo. Uh, so it's easy to get overwhelmed and it's much harder to get your insurance back because if you die to a squad, uh, they're basically going to be able to clean you dry. You know what I mean? If a solo player kills you, they might leave some of your stuff behind because they're overweight. If a five man kills you, you're not getting anything back at all. Uh, and I would just say it's definitely harder. It's harder to engage with this game. It's more punishing when you're playing as a solo player. A lot of people would say it's also more rewarding though. Um, so similar thing, I've done a video on some tips for solo play if you are interested in that. Uh, and to kind of cap this off, my opinion on all of this is that uh, Tarkov is at its most fun, in my opinion, when played in really small groups, two to three mans of people that are really on the same page with what, what they want. I My favorite part of this game is creating on the fly tactical plays and then executing them well. Um, I play with one person, sealable bag, almost every single day. And we're at a point where we can see an enemy uh, and know that this isn't a great place for a 2v1. So he'll shoot out a window, jump out, make a flank, I'll pull aggro, and then boom, we pinch him. The, all sorts of stuff like that. That is my favorite way to engage in this game. Every time I've done a five man, I just can't get over the, the Discord call, the comms. It's way too distracting. I can't talk to chat or anything. And playing as a solo player is definitely fun, but I feel like I can't make those cool plays as effectively by myself. So that's kind of my sweet spot. Experiment, play around, and, and find whatever just is the most fun for you. There are plenty of Sherpa systems out there, official Escape from Tarkov ones, tons of discords. Uh, once again, another shameless plug, we've got people in our discord that we have vetted that have a lot of time in the game that are willing to help people out. And then you can kind of transition that into just looking for group channels, finding people to play with, and then maybe finding a group of people and just trying to play with them more consistently. Playing with people consistently if you're going to play in a squad is kind of the key. But at the end of the day, it is about what you enjoy the most, what you find the most fun. So I hope that this helped. Whether you're new to the game or whether you've played the game for a while, uh, there's no right way to do it. Don't let anybody say that solo is the only way to play Tarkov. And don't let anybody say that it's a squad focused game. So find a squad. Do whatever you want. There's clear advantage and disadvantages to both. And as long as you understand what those are and are willing to master whichever one it is, you're going to end up having a lot more fun in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you like it, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Like we said before, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.